campaigns did is the campaign stopped spending revenue dropped as well campaign stopped spending got to boxing day and then everything took off again so we saved the client about 30 percent in um in their budget in revenue you you do a seasonal bid adjustment if you've got a sale period coming up so you've got to stipulate the sale period so i think you've missed the boat here melissa um because you've got to say if there's if there's a valentine's day promotion coming up or a black friday cyber monday or whatever sale period so a client saying yep yeah, we've got a sale for seven days right mm -hmm. is this going to be a sale or has it been a sale they've been running you know uh, annually you then go back and you check the date so we'll just use valentine's day as an example you you were if they're running a sale from seven days before valentine's day go into the previous year and have a look at the conversion rate so you'd look at the conversion rate of the account in that period share my screen so i can explain to you could you reverse engineer it glenn as you're talking like could you essentially try to then pick the period from where there's no promo to where there yeah, is a promo well you could you nope. could say i'm expecting a dip in this seven days so yes you could do the mm -hmm. same thing but if you want to do it um where you're going you want to tell the the campaign that you are going to have a performance increase or or performance decrease based on what you know has happened historically you then look at the historic numbers and you then create a seasonal bid adjustment on that. What's that sheet there, Melissa? That's these guides for you. Oh, yeah. No, I'm just pulling it up now. Okay. But, oh, my internet is so slow. So what was this sale um, period that they had for Valentine's Six. Day? Sixth until tomorrow. Sixth of Feb? Yeah. Okay. So we look at six. Which will go back to 23. Which would be, say, seven, six to 13. Six to 13, 23. Grab the conversion rate. Conversion rate. All right, so one point two seven. Compare it to the previous period. Ah. Apparently, they're like day after sales is always. A big slap in the face. Yeah, it's a really rough. The day after the sale? Yeah, always. Yeah. Okay. Maybe, maybe so, we can just take that period, you know, like try and find where it's the worst, and then we yeah. can buffer it. So looking at, so this is, I'm looking at the period last year in 23, from mm -hmm. 6th to the 13th, right? So mm -hmm. currently that, I don't, did they run it? Let's just say they, they ran a, a sale. And... I'm just doing um, the conversion rate, looking at the conversion rate data. My print screen button stopped working for some reason. Anyway, looking at the conversion rate column, mm -hmm. uh, previous seven days, it's only gone up 3%, right? Not really that much of a difference, but we can see the YouTube went up 13% there um the search bottom of funnel so that's gone up 22 percent so we could probably assume that if you're running branded campaigns if you've got there's there's a conversion rate for 20 youtube's got up 20 percent 20 percent for brand is there 13 percent for youtube there mm. ideally what you want to be doing is having a look at 
that data. Let's just say that there was a 20 or 30% increase in, in performance in that week that you would generally get normally. You then go in and create a seasonal adjustment. Let's just say that we want to run a, we go to bid strategies. We come to advanced and you create a new seasonally adjustment. Generally, you want to do a conversion rate adjustment and you might just call this Valentine's Day 2024. Select a date that you want this to be applied to. Now, we're obviously outside this period, but just say um, it was from the 6th, 6th to the 13th or 6th to the 12th. You put the dates in there, start time, mm -hmm. end time. Mm -hmm. Just go, you can select your campaign types, whether you just want to apply it to search, display, shopping, performance, max, whatever it is. Then you'll say, I'm expecting an increase of 30% in my conversion rates. So you're telling the algorithm, this is what I'm expecting. It will then adjust accordingly. Now, conversely, we could go in, have a look at, the same period now you, you've missed the the chance to put this in what you can see then if we look at the previous year and see if the conversion rate has dropped off so i'm going to go back to their their campaign or their account so why have we missed the boat sorry i'm just um oh, just a quick question why have we missed the boat if we want to adjust the bids for like the following like three days after the sale yep, yep. so you've we got to give it up you've got Yep. So okay. Okay. ideally what you want to do is if you want, if you know that your conversions are going to increase, like your sales historically are good, you want to tell the algorithm, I'm expecting the conversion rate to be high. It will then bid more aggressively and you can make more money. So you, you're giving it a heads up. Conversely, if you are, if you know that you're going to have a bad period after Valentine's Day, so let's just say I'm going to look at last year the 15th to the 18th 15th to 18th so we know that was bad. compare the previous period all right so looking at your conversion rate for your account it actually went up last year by 12 percent yeah truthfully i don't think they um had the valentine's day sale last year Okay. They're pretty right. sporadic in their in their sale decisions. Truthfully. Okay. So what you want to do then, if you are expecting that there's going to be a drop, yeah. you would um, call it go in, call it post Valentine's Day 2024 hangover or whatever you want to call it. Hangover like that. This is sale uh, hangover. Sale hangover, and you want to run it from say the 15th to maybe the Sunday, maybe, whatever whatever your date period is. Yep. Um, you can go all campaigns or you can select, the sorry, campaign types or select specific campaigns. Okay. I generally would just keep everything at all campaigns yep. and say we're expecting a decrease of 30% in conversion rate or 20%. So what it will do then is it will bid less aggressively so you're not um, – not spending as much. Now, I did this exact same strategy with after Christmas. So we there was a period from, I think, about the 18th to the 25th, where last year it was terrible, like no one bought, because you're seven days out from Christmas and no one was buying. So I put in a seasonal bid adjustment of that period seven days before Christmas that I'm expecting a decrease in conversion rate of 50%. Mm -hmm. What the campaigns did is if the campaign stopped spending, revenue dropped as well, campaign stopped spending, got to Boxing Day, and then everything took off again. So we saved the, the client about 30% in, um, in their budget in revenue because we were expecting that decrease. So you could do the exact same thing with, uh, if you're expecting a drop in conversion rate and conversely, if you know that you're going to get a good conversion rate, you could do the seasonal, seasonality adjustment that you know you're going to get a 
conversion rate bump in that period. So that way Google doesn't go, oh, yeah, this is the norm. You're telling it, no, no, this there is going to be a surge or there's going to be a decrease. And it will adjust its bidding accordingly because you're telling it, no, 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 this is going to be an outlier. I want you to adjust um, the bidding. So Does question on that. If So yeah. say, for instance, if they didn't run the Valentine's Day sale last year, and we don't really know what, say, we're going to apply this for the increase, like we're anticipating an increase, but I don't know exactly how much. Is it okay to just like, we could just guess, like based on other sales, like I usually see around a 25 to 30%. So anywhere yep. in there would be okay to set it? Yep. Okay. Yep. Just look at think historical data. Yeah, I was just going to say, don't look at the Christmas hall. Like, no. Um, look, find another similar um, promotion yeah. that isn't Christmas. Like, find something that's a little more low scale. That way you're not um, being more drastic. Or if you want to get wild, you can just average them all. Yes. Okay. So something like maybe um, like July 4th, like that's not a, that's not really a big skincare sale time, but they run a sale. So maybe July 4th would be comparable to Valentine's day. Yep. I'd be, yeah. I'd be looking anywhere between 20 and 30% adjustments. Okay. So yeah, I got it. Niraj, um, just checking that you understood that. So we should, we could um, use that bid adjustment, um, post this sale so we can set it up for do you think glenn just because there is such a huge hangover normally it would be okay to start it like tomorrow afternoon yep. even okay yep so we could start no, if, you, if they've got a sale who's really going to be buying on valentine's day no. yeah exactly like christmas day who's going to buy on christmas day if got christmas present yeah Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Gads Girls. We are here again with Cindy, back by popular demand. Hello, Cindy. Hi guys, how are you, Leandra? Good, good. Looking forward to another episode here. So why don't you tell us the topic that we're going to be covering today? Okay.